This is Magellan Risk Guard. As we've been discussing, it's a tool that lets us use artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze content in order to make risk detection and remediation incredibly simple. So we're gonna get logged into the tool here and immediately we'll be able to see all of our crawling projects are here for us to explore and see what our models found. We can easily just at a glance monitor the status of any project or we can drill in for a little bit more of a detailed view. Here, I see all the results of my crawl, as well as some of those basic details, like what file share did I crawl, when did it run, how many files did I find. But I can also easily see what exactly was found within this content and how it relates to my organization's risk model. So let's take a closer look at exactly how that gets defined, and then we'll circle back here to the dashboard to look a little bit more at what our results looked like. So I'm just gonna edit my crawling project here. You see some basic uh, settings. Let's look at some of our risk model information. You see here all of the risk categories uh, that we find organized by risk types. So uh, our model lets us detect risky content in images, videos, uh, audio and text documents. So you see here for image and video risks, I see some of those dimensions that we can detect within those types of content. If I uh, am a manufacturer of an alcoholic beverage, I might go ahead and flip this setting you know, to low or no risk. Uh, if, I, if I manufacture uh, pharmaceuticals, I might you know, manipulate some of these other settings. But for most organizations, I'm gonna maintain some of these image types certainly are not uh, you know, workplace relevant, so I can go ahead and, and, and set them accordingly. I can also set the relevant risks for uh, potential PII information or personal sensitive information and just use these simple uh, switches to define how my organization's risk profile should be uh, affected upon the content that we discover. Now, in this case, our uh, project already has the connections to the file share and to the uh, ECM repository, which in this case, of course, is open text content server. So we don't need to set those. Let's just jump back to our project status. And I see now for all the content that I've crawled, it immediately is modeled against the risk profile that I've defined. So let's take a closer look. If I take a, a category like gambling, I certainly, for my organization, I don't need any gambling content. It's not a particularly high risk, but images that show gambling, just they don't have any business value for me. So what I can do is say, we want to go ahead and mark these for deletion. So I can just check all, delete that content, and I can go ahead and mark that that's going to be deleted from the file share. Uh, for any content that, that is just of no value or high risk, I may want to just go ahead and mark that content for uh, a defensible deletion. Uh, for other types of content, though, it's a bit more nuanced. So let's look at, say, absence and leave. If I go into absence and leave, I actually found quite a few documents uh, that relate to uh, the absence and leave category or that, that uh, you know, hit the absence and leave category in our AI model. But what I might want to do is add some more filtering. I'm not interested in all of the absence and leave data, but I'm definitely interested in absence and leave items that also contain a high risk component. Maybe, uh, so now I'm down to only 17. Maybe I also want to go get the ones that include uh, contact details. So this is potential uh, PII that's in this a uh, piece of high risk absence and leave content. This is the stuff that I really need to take action on. So once again, I can select you know, individually one, one or more documents or I'll just go ahead and select them all. And what I can do is say, I wanna go ahead and move this to my ECM repository. So I can now mark all of that to be moved directly into the repository where I'm gonna maintain this content because it really shouldn't be on an unsecured file share. So it really makes it that simple. Uh, with Magellan Risk Guard, you get this robust and scalable and defensible risk remediation tool, but it's also incredibly easy to use and readily maps to your organization's unique risk profiling requirements.